welcome to another studio vlog i'm going to say hi <laughs> down the line don't worry uh if you like chatty vlogs and if you are new uh i'm normally pretty chatty on vlogs but actually my videos have been really low on views and i realized that if i speak in the beginning of the videos um views don't drop that much i'm not really sure if that's something to do with that but yeah let's try that out welcome to a new week in the studio i was in london last week and it was super super nice if you've seen last week's video i explained that my sister lives in london for almost 10 years now maybe um and before the pandemic and stuff i used to visit her a lot um and it was it has been a couple of years since i've been there last time and it was super super nice she had a baby so i went to visit her and my niece and i actually met rosie from pin and ink uh and jess from jess was here and also rita and i can't for the life of me pronounce right her instagram uh handle so i'm going to leave it um in the screen i'm going to leave all of them in the screen it's so so nice to meet some internet friends that i've been talking for the last two years uh, we had a great time thank you so much for showing me around London um, and hanging out with me and all of that it was so so nice but yeah I'm back in the studio and right now you can see that I'm doing a bunch of notebooks I had another order, order on fair for uh, 50 notebooks and some more washi tapes which I'm so so excited so I was working on mounting the notebooks that uh, still needed to be mounted and also the notebooks that are going to be on the shop really really soon that you can see over here and yeah I'm really excited about those wholesale has been going quite well I think I had a mishap that I'm going to explain a little bit later on the video which made me so so sad and I really didn't share about it on Instagram because I was just so mad um, about it all but you'll hear more about it uh, later and I wasn't really expecting for the wholesale to pick up this much I guess um, and it has been a lot of work but it makes me really really excited i might have to rise up the prices uh, on fair a little bit because the commission is really really high over there but i can talk all about that if you want on a video um but yeah i'm still learning a lot about it but i'm having loads of fun and yeah enjoy the rest of the studio vlog Good morning everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. I'm back from London and I'm on a big uh, restock spree and getting notebooks ready for a wholesale order. And I have some news, but I'll um, finish the restock. I'm doing sticker packs and notebooks and I also have to do notepads. And then I'll chat with you a little bit more when everything's ready and a little bit more calmed and with time. So. Let's get going on restocking some products. And yay, I'm back. But I'm really happy to be back and let's get to work. Yay. Okay, this is the state of things right now. I've been restocking some sticker packs and I'm also trying to restock these snail ones um, and I'm going to basically give up on them. Um, if you've seen um, studio vlog a while ago when, when I made these ones for the first time, you know that it was a mess to cut them on my silhouette uh, because they are very intricate, so 
this is what has been going on like they rip off really easily um and yeah i don't want to waste a lot of paper like as you can see i can't use them um i'm just going to uh, keep them for myself to write notes and stuff uh but yeah in all of the sheets that i print i can only make like two or three and yeah i don't really want to waste any paper i have another design i have this one but this one it's like quite simple um design it's not as intricate as the snail one so it's really easy to cut and mount it still takes a while because i have to cut all the sheets individually but it's a lot easier and it doesn't create any problems so i'm going to keep having this design and i'll do some more in the future but i have to keep in mind that they have to be quite simple um so yeah basically I already took them out of the shop I already took them out of fair and all of that and i'm going to do these ones that i have over here i'm not even going to cut them uh because i'm really um frustrated and angry because i already wasted so much paper so yeah, I'm going to glue these ones, I'm going to uh, mount these sticker packs and, and I'm also printing out some notepads that I want to mount still this week for orders and stuff. So I'm going to keep printing this and finish all of this as well. But first, let me talk about what happened last week because I don't want to leave you hanging. Uh, remember the socks uh, order that I was so happy about? I had to cancel it. And I basically only told my patrons because I was so frustrated and anxious and mad at the same time. And I'm sorry if you can hear the printers, they are making a lot of noise right now. As I explained last week, my normal supplier from where I order my socks for sublimation um, ran out of stock and it was going to be only available in the first week of June so next week or even the week after they were not sure um, and I got an order for 100 socks and I only had like 30 in stock or something um, so I basically had to ask another supplier that I had like on a back burner um, if needed um, to send me a hundred socks um, and it was all fine I called them and they say they were going to be available in five business days which was awesome because um, I had to uh, send the socks like last week um, so because they still had to go to the US and they had to be there before the end of the month so it was all good it was all fine I went to London London, and then Mariana was going to finish the socks and take care of the order and all of that I left basically 28 socks already made and then the socks arrived really early which was awesome and they arrived on last Tuesday but then Mariana sent me some photos and I'm going to post them over here and as well as some footage that I took um, yesterday and the socks were basically huge um, basically they had on the website saying that the socks in length was like 27 centimeters um, and that's the perfect size for me because they have to fit an A4 since my sublimation printer is an A4 then Mariana even measured them and it was like 10, 33, 34 centimeters there was no way they could fit an A4 um, and I basically already had like this big stack of sheets like 200 sheets printed um, and yeah basically I had to send them back yesterday and they are going to return me the money the money but yeah basically i had to cancel the order uh, because i couldn't get the socks uh, like the empty socks to do the sublimation on but yeah right now i have like 28 socks already printed and i have like a big stack of paper that basically i wasted paper and ink and all of that just because they had the wrong measures on their website i can't even tell you how mad i was um so yeah i basically let the client down which was super super bad um and i already uh, told her before that i was able to uh, get them on time and then i had to you know take my word back and yeah it was kind of a mess so let me show you what i have right now okay so this is the stack of paper that I have now. I left them already printed so when the socks arrived Mariana could just print them out and since there were like a hundred socks I had to print like 200 sheets so I think I'll have sheets for doing the 90 sock socks until I don't know <laughs> I retire or something. 
And then I have all of these socks already made. Oh my God, I have like 28. And yeah, socks, it's not something that I usually sell. Uh, so this will take a while to sell. I'm thinking about, I don't know, do a sale on my website or something so that you guys can grab them. Because basically I have 28 socks with the same pattern. And yeah, it has been a mess. And basically since I used all the socks that I had in stock, I can't do any others. So I had to take the sock out of my website because I can't do other patterns. I have these made that I took for markets and stuff, but other than that, like I have no empty socks to print on, so I can't really fulfill orders uh, if they are out of these uh, patterns. So yeah, not only I lost a sale of 100 socks, which was so, so cool, I lost ink, I lost paper, I don't have any, I don't have any socks to print on, and I have 20 socks with a 90s pattern to sell. <sighs> so yeah. It was a mess. I was so frustrated because um, I wasn't even here on the studio um, and then I had to take care of everything and all of that. It was really a stressful time. It wasn't nice. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to put these socks on sale. Uh, so probably when you see the studio vlog, they will be on sale as well. They are perfect, in perfect conditions. Um, I just have like a bunch of them um, that, yeah. I don't know where to send you, so hope you guys enjoy them. Um, if you like the 90s pattern, yeah, they will be on discount on my website, so I can see if I can sell them. They already packed all like nicely and all of that. So yeah, if you want to help me out <laughs> um, to find a place for all the socks that I have printed, I have 28. So yeah, it really mean a lot. I'm going to leave the link on my website in the description if you want to check that out. Not fun. In the meantime, I also already had um, order, uh, other wholesale orders. That's why I'm making all of these notebooks. So I still have to cut them and finish them out. I still have a couple on the press. I really need to build another press because I have to press them. Um, like a few at a time so yeah i'm going to finish these ones out i'm going to finish all of this so then i can pack all other orders and all of that so let's go I'm doing some repetitive tasks. I thought this will be a nice time to chat um, a little because, yeah, I don't know. I think things may seem a little bit well all the time when I make these videos. Like, I'm always trying to uh, stay positive around all the things. Um, but sometimes it hits really hard and today it's one of those days, you know? Um, like first it was the socks and then on fair um, I had this person who only ordered like one tote bag and they made a complaint saying that the tote bag was full of stains and like she sent a photo and there was no stains but she still wants a refund. So I have this whole situation um, with fair just because of like six dollars or something. Uh, um, things have not been arriving and they are getting lost in the mail and yeah, it has been a whole mess. And I know it seems like all the time it's just like fine and well and everything is going super nice, um, but it is not. And I've been feeling so overwhelmed, like I'm shaking right now because my anxiety has been so bad um, this couple of weeks, like I'm shaking all the time. I can't really sleep very well. Uh, 
and I'm really afraid of burning out um, and I don't know I just feel like I can't keep up with things um, this last couple of weeks it has been one thing after another after another um, so yeah and now today I was like cutting the notepads and stuff and not even this cuts okay it's like I don't know all things um, have been wrong and been going wrong and yeah it hasn't been easy to deal with I guess um, I'm even thinking about um, uh, making like a um, how's it called like making a, a quick stop at my patreon for like a month um, you can do that on Patreon, you can stop the pledges uh, from coming in, like you don't have to cancel or anything um, It'll just be like um, No one will pay for that month if I make like a, a stop. I'm not sure like a pause It's the word I'm looking for basically because yeah, I've been feeling just so so overwhelmed with all the things um, lately so yeah, I just wanted to mention that it's not all fun um, and lovely all the time. It has a lot of ups and downs and, you know, um, even with Instagram, it's just all over the place. And then my Patreon has been all over the place as well. Um, it just keeps going down month after month after month. And I'm just like so afraid of it all and thinking if my work is even still relatable and important and if it's still worth <laughs> to do it all like for youtube and i don't know it has been you can see that a lot has been on my mind lately and i don't know i think it's when things start to go down all at the same time at least for me i go down as well and it's not easy to stay positive all the time of course i try to always look at the bright side um, of it all, especially because I'm so lucky to be doing what I love and having this job, but it's not easy to everything fall off at the same time and you are just one person who has to take care of it all. Um, so yeah, guys, the last couple of weeks have not been easy. Um, a lot of things have been going on. Um, I just want to talk about it and let you know how I've been feeling if I stop posting for like a week you know why because yeah I'm just feeling so so overwhelmed right now um, everything looks like a mess on my mind so yeah I just want to keep you up to date of how I've been feeling of how um, things have been and yeah because I don't know these videos are a big part of my life and I feel like a lot of you know me even though you never met me so it's not like I owe an explanation to everyone but I really want to and I always wanted to um, talk about the highs and low of it all so I don't really want to like hide this part um, because I don't know it's not as easier to talk about as when you're on a high on your business and all of that so yeah i'm sorry for the um, sad talk i guess not really sad but more not so positive talk i guess and i hope you don't mind but i really want to speak about it all not only the highs but also the lows because i feel it's so important to talk about and knowing that you are not alone and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are feeling the same as me um, especially with Instagram and all the content it just feels like you are running uh, and have to keep up with so many things and it's just impossible for us to do it all so if you are being feeling the same and feeling a little I don't know all over the place as myself please know you're not alone and I think we need to take care of ourselves and that's what I'm trying to do. I've been trying to think ways that I can, you know, take it easy and um, maybe stop 
helping one month making a pause on Patreon for one month will help me out a lot. That's what's up, I guess. <laughs> These are done. They are done! So this is a big notebook and washi order so some of them were already made and Mariana already got the washies ready and now I've been doing this they order like 10 of each of these so these are done and I also got around to do the new ones which are so cute so this is how they look this is the inside and I'm going to have them in A6 uh, and this is the moth one, which I'm absolutely in love with this chunky guys. They look so cute. And of course, I also have them in a big A5 size and you'll be able to get them um, with plain paper and lined paper as all the designs that I have on my show. Yay, this will be available soon on the shop, as I said on the last studio vlog. I'm waiting for the pins um, and I'll just release everything together in one shop plate for notebooks, notepads, washi and pins. So in the meantime, I also already printed the T ones. I've printed the mountain notepads and also the berry ones. The snails are still printing a lot of products to be restocked. So let's go.
heavy. There's like 50 notebooks and a bunch of washes in here. Oh my god, I'm so proud of this. <laughs> so many good problems. Five kilos of cute goodies. <laughs> Yay! Oh, this is hanging out on my gold. That's not cute. <laughs> but yay. I basically just got two notepads. One of these are for an order and I'm going to list this one on my website and then that's it until I can find a better way to do them. Uh, maybe with less details or something, but this will be the last notepad of the little snail guy. So if you want to grab it, I only have one on my website. <laughs> Okay, I still have these orders to pack, but I'm going to leave them for tomorrow because I have to do notepads, um, not notepads, mouse mats and mugs for it. So I'll just take care of that tomorrow and I only received them yesterday, so it's fine. Um, and I also finished the wholesale orders and all of that and other orders that I had on my website. So that is finally done. I'll do these notepads tomorrow as well because <laughs> I'm already pretty tired of mounting stuff. So I'll just do them tomorrow. My boyfriend will help me out taking this to the post office because only that box it's like five kilos and then I have all the other ones so yeah <laughs> it's not going to be easy. I'm actually going to end the studio vlog here. Um, tomorrow I'm going to start filming next week's studio vlog where I'm going to prepare um, May goodies for patrons. So I'm really looking forward to that. I decided that I'm going to be pausing my patron for June and then we'll see about that. I am I was already doing some changes in July that I'll be mentioning next week, I'm sure. Um, so I think a pause will be good for that as well to, I don't know, take a look back, see what I want to keep doing and all of that and implement all of those changes and release my like um, a refreshed kind of patron. I've been in there for two years and I never took a break um, so yeah it's like my biggest income stream so it's kind of scary to stop a month uh, but I feel like I really need to. Um, it will be good for my mental health, it will be good for you know make the content a little bit better, uh, think it through and I don't know, see what I can improve and all of that. Um, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll talk more about that um, during next week's studio vlog. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye!